Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to do a little tarot unboxing. Um, I keep looking at my decks and I'm like, hey, I've got enough. And then I, someone goes on sale and I'm like, ooh, we need that one. Uh, this one is by Rebecca Campbell, which I'm currently a little obsessed with. I've got several of her decks now. This one is the Ancient Stones Oracle. And I think this is one of her newer decks. Um, doesn't say where it's when it was printed. Anyway, this one I was looking at and I was like, you know, I've got a couple. I don't really need more. But then I was reading a little bit about this one. And it sounds kind of fascinating, especially if you like uh, kind of the stone circle concepts with things. I have scissors, but they're not cutting with plastic. And no, I'm not doing this before the video because that would, that's an unboxing. You need to open it when it's live. That way you can be honest with, or well, when it's live, when you're recording, that way you can be honest with your unboxing part. So, the back of the bo box says, ancient stones hold the sacred energy of earth. They are a portal to reach back in time, connect with wisdom of the ancients, and our ancestors uncover lost wisdom with these powerful guardians and teachers and attune to their energy for healing, guidance, and protection. Well, I was reading about that, and I already have her Starseed Oracle and the Cooling Waters, I think is what it's called. The Healing Waters. There we go. And it's another one of her unique boxes. Ancestors protect me. But you can... She shows how you can read with these. I've never done it. Um, but it's kind of a cool idea. And the boxes are fun. Just as much fun as the rest of it is. Of course, we have our little book here with all of our little notes. And they, like I said, Rebecca does talk about how to use the box as a tool for reading, which is kind of cool. Let me find a page here. Literally just open this. Um, oh, now she's not going to have it in here. <laughs> that would be my luck. Do, 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 do. Of course, there's QR codes in there if you want to use them, but I don't. Um, kind of, for being someone who's actually work, <laughs> part of your business is online, I'm not a big fan of technology. Uh, but they show she shows how you can use these for uh, different readings, uh, the book top here. And like I said, I've never really played around with that. I kind of free, fl <laughs> free flow most of my reading stuff. So there's that. Um, but yeah, you got this cute little box bottom, which, like I said, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to the boxes, because they just, it's ones that have like little magnetic clasps, the weird shapes, like the standard box, and it's alright, but you start getting into the more unique stuff, and it <laughs> makes me happy. So, uh, with this one, we have Unlock the Wisdom of the Ancient Stones on the little paper tag here. to take out a handful of cards just to get that to let go because it doesn't want to. There we go. I don't like to tear things. That's just uncool. So, little QR code with all the information on it. I'm not going <laughs> to leave it up there too long. Um, she has an attunement on here, and I usually just do my own anyway. But there is an attunement you can use, which is cool because it gives you a way to connect with the cards using her intentions and her her agreements, which, I mean, you're using her deck, at least check it out, right? So that's one thing to look at. And then the, we'll start flipping through the cards here in a sec, but check out the back. Like, it's just got this cool, soothing light. It's mirror imaged to that direction, but it's also mirror imaged up and down. So, definitely, it's probably digital. I'm assuming everything is anymore. But the very first card is alignment. It's coming together and precision. The art style with these decks, especially um, like the water deck, is one of my favorites. The problem is it doesn't show up on screen very well because it's such a light watercolor deck. But find your center, stay true to yourself, call it into you, have the labyrinth of stones with the cairns all around, which is <laughs> cool unless you work outside and then it's annoying. Uh, lay it on the altar, hand it over, soften, surrender, forgive. We've got the kind of a Buddhist motif here with the golden Buddhas and statues. This one, the road is clear. You know what you need to do. Walk it your way. 
and take a peek at this really look at this card there's a pathway here you have your stone pillars off to the side but notice up here you've got like this energy field where you're going up through into a portal could be seen as the uh, light at the end of the tunnel end of life tunnel uh, could be a couple different things Ooh, this is cool stone goddess unwavering love support and maternal line the the probably one of the oldest statues I've ever heard of anyway is the stone goddess this little doohickey here um, there are a few others that might be a little bit older but that one they really don't know what the date is and where it was found kind of lends it to be <laughs> uh, much older than what people might realize so this is a really cool looking deck um, I got it more of a, on a whim because it's Rebecca Campbell's stuff and like I said lately I've been a little addicted to her cards so uh, we'll do a quick sample reading and just see how uh, much this deck wants to talk and I'm still working on trying to figure out how to properly do a video on how I set up and attune to cards which is something that I was taught but then I improvised and I improvised adapted it for my life because not everything is cut and dried for people but I do have a very specific way that I will set up um, a card before I will ever crack it open and ever read it I have a very specific type of um, I guess you could call a ritual <laughs> pattern I guess you could say to see um, to test if I'm aligned to it because there's some decks I have and I'm 100% honest on this I have a couple of decks that are pretty absolutely zero connection to those decks I have tried everything they just don't want to talk so um, there are decks you will run across like that and that's again topic for another video but this deck in particular I felt very drawn to the art was part of it but also the artist because she has this way of bringing depth into her work it's kind of like some of my Josephine Wall ones that I've already talked about um, there's just something about the way the art is that draws you in so sample reading here we've got returning spiral journey growth renewal and healed this card is really you know, kind of deep not kind of it's deep um, when you look at it you're looking at the labyrinth what's at the center of the labyrinth in the old school stories it's the minotaur but in our modern culture it's conquering our elemental nature it's bringing us back to our spiritual nature our homeland so having this one being called returning is actually apropos because it's bringing us back to ourselves we're returning to who we really are the things that we forgot and a spiritual journey in general is a calling back to the things that we forgot and it doesn't matter if you're starseed Lemurian Atlantean whatever term they want to apply now when you start to really wander through the labyrinth which is this thing up here a lot of the times you start to understand more and more about yourself and when you do you actually reconnect to the spiritual part of you which is this gigantic entity that kind of hangs out around you you're not always aware of it but you know that's we're not just this meat suit this is this is the machine we drive every day but the rest of us is so much more than that and when we connect in we go through the labyrinth and return to ourselves that's what I'm getting from this card it's a pretty card um, our second one in our sample here is soul agreement soul missions soul plan life purpose so when we're looking at the returning and we're understanding there's more to us the soul agreement this is that part that you made the agreement before you came in but you also agreed and this is the part that's sad I'm not sure why this reading is going like this uh, <laughs> you forgot on purpose you chose to forget so that you would have to go through the lesson to learn and remember and the soul agreement is you'll come to that awakening period at the correct time the la uh, labyrinth with returning is saying this is the time and this is the place so your soul agreement is saying this is the time to wake up this is the time to step into that higher part of who you are or to come aware of that aspect of yourself so your third little card here is the boundary stones negotiations contracts and communication you made agreements you made spiritual contracts when you came in 
that set the stage. So these, this is where basically the little, I don't know if you want to call it a trap, but the boundaries that you set for yourself when you came in. That was who you would know at that moment. But the communication part is what sets you up to become aware of your soul agreement. Your communication is what's going to bring you back to yourself. This card is saying this is where you're at, but you are protected in every way. You've got a spiritual protection, you have the physical protection, you've got the tree of life behind you. I can't say the name in the Celtic, which it sounds really cool when it's said. I <laughs> just missed that particular linguistic uh, role. But this, as a sample reading, it's actually really cool because you start off searching, you come to an understanding. Let's see if I can do this and actually have it show up correctly. You're searching, you come to an understanding, being protected the entire way. So that's the that's a basic reading with this deck, and this deck is actually being really vocal. <laughs> um, some decks, when you first start with them, are pretty meh. This one actually wants to talk, which is kind of cool. Um, again, sample reading, you can take it as reading for someone personally, if that's what you're led to, um, and that's cool. But yeah, this is my new deck. I'm gonna work with a little bit on with myself first, uh, get a little more acquainted with it, and then I may start incorporating this one into some of the monthly readings. So you might see, that's a cool one. You might see this deck in future readings. Uh, live the question, curiosity, open your mind, live it. That's, ask the questions. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below. <laughs> but ask the questions. Seek out the answers. The only way for us to fully understand ourselves, our spiritual journey, is to ask. Be open to communication. The trick with asking questions, and this is something that I have poked at people before about, uh, especially when I'm doing readings with them. When you ask a question, be willing to hear the answer. Don't just ask a question and then continue to ignore what they're saying. Communication is a trick and it's a key. When we communicate openly, one person speaks, the other one listens, understands, and then speaks again. So you have a two-way flow and that's an interesting card to end on because it's not just about one thing in life. Our lives are so complex and I feel like it's cards like the uh, ones that Rebecca is bringing forward here lately are definitely ways to help us understand that complexity and the depth of who we are as a people and who we are as a spiritual community. So uh, I will put a link to this in the description. You can go check it out and see if it's something that you want to add to your collection. Like I said, I'm going to work with this a little bit. This one video is uh, being uploaded in November. So I'm going to work with this a little bit. I'll probably add it to the list of cards that I use on my website, probably December-ish, maybe. Um, depends on how well it wants to talk. And then we'll move forward from there. Uh, again, if you want a personal reading, I do have those linked in the description in my website where I have all the other goodies that I make. I pretty much make, well, not pretty much. I make all of my goods there myself. <laughs> so you can check those out. There's orgones, there's uh, all sorts of crocheted goodies. Um, and then I also do my different services, including tarot. So uh, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your week. And thank you for joining me with the Ancient Stones Unboxing.